All right, y'all. I am excited. So is the cat. I'm so excited. Like the weather, I love this kind of weather. I think fall is probably my favorite season. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. I know I look cold. I, I guess I like to bundle up. Um, get in the shed here. And I'm excited about fall, but I'm also excited for the last big piece of the solar project. And that is that we have to build a battery box. It's gonna be on wheels, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be insulated. We don't want the batteries to get below 32 degrees, otherwise they'll shut off. This is it. We build this box, we put the batteries in, we hook them up and we flip the switch. How many? That goes up to 30? Let me see. Where? Right there. There you go. Gotta protect your big ears. Hey dude, what you doing? I'm building a battery box. Do you have power before you have the battery? 
Um, probably. No, I want to get it all up and going at the same time. We're in the shed. It's about, well, it's a little after 6.30. It's dark outside. It is raining. Cats and dogs, it's raining. <laughs> I think it's gonna rain all week, which is crazy because monsoon season for Arizona ended at the end of September. Uh, we're still getting rain, which is great because Arizona doesn't get a lot of rain. Anyway. I got my bottom here, we got the middle shelf back here, it's hard to see, and then we got the top. So I've got eight of these wheels to put on the bottom of this, eight because it's a ton of weight, right? Can't remember what these are rated for, I think they're like 90 pounds a piece eight of these things and it's going to be on wheels so it can move in case like the inverters need to be serviced or something like that right then they can just unplug the batteries that are in the box and roll it out of the way Four legs are on. I'm going to bed. Good night. It's chilly. It's foggy. It's wet. Let's finish the battery box. Seems I have a tendency to overbuild things when it comes to size. It's really big. <laughs> I got you know, you got the bottom here. I could fit five of our batteries down here, which is what we're starting with. And then we have this top bench shelf, which is set in a little bit, as you can see room enough for five more batteries to add in the future all made out of two by fours for the frame and three quarter plywood and now i could start i could start putting the the siding which is some tongue and groove we got that's going to go here that's why this is sticking out a little bit here this is a one inch sticking out one inch here and here the tongue and groove will go right in between them and it'll it'll set in a little bit and then I got tongue and groove going on the back. Going to make the doors out of the tongue and groove that go on the front. There's going to be two big doors so that we can open it in the summertime when 
it gets warm. It doesn't get too hot in here, but this is going to be insulated as well with that two inch foam foam board. So uh, they can stay uh, warm in the winter, I guess, and not get too cold. Let's keep going. Seven and close to a quarter. Just call it a quarter. So that would be nine and and another one. Okay. So Five you need to cut ten. Yep. And the last piece will just get ripped down. Four, yep. Five foot I just finished screwing down some pieces of scrap here that I had to rip down. Oh, I have nine. And the tongue and groove, which Natalie so kindly chopped up for me. Get it with one hand. Whoops. Whoa. My face. Tongue and groove will. Why don't? Why is here? Hold that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the tongue and groove will go in like so, and it'll nail on to these. These are my nailing strips, basically, and we'll stack them up. And then on the back. Ooh, that one fits like a glove, by the way. What about your first few? How do they fit? They they got a lot, little wiggle room. That's a all. Little wiggle room. <laughs> right now we can go ahead and cover up three of the sides. Then we can insulate this. Then we can put the batteries in and plug them in. And the door, I'm going to build that later after solar is plugged in. Because we want to plug in that fridge. Yeah. Yeah. And the door is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, this has been going pretty quick. I mean, I started this yesterday. So, mm -hmm. And it's huge. It is quite large. I knew it was going to be big. It's a little but big. But it's bigger than... Even we imagined. Yeah. It's, it's too big. But I, I'm trying to give the batteries some space so that air flow can get around them. Uh, for summertime specifically, you know, I'm giving them about an inch or two of space around each battery. I went around looking for my nail gun, the, the finish nailer. I couldn't find it because it's in storage. There's a lot of things in the storage unit. Um, so we got to go to the storage unit. Yeah, there's a lot of things in there we need. <laughs> we got to go to the storage unit. But uh, before that, we'll insulate the top here and the bottom. Get the adhesive on and it'll be drying while we're gone. All right, let's tip this over. Tilt it. All right, now we gotta pick it up and right there. Okay. It just sounds harder doing it Of course it's harder. I'm all about doing it the hard way. I know you are. It's a bad habit. <laughs> Careful. Okay, why don't you swing your end that way? This one? Yeah, without dragging it. Right there. Very good. You are strong like bull. <laughs> I just gotta smash it in there. Smash it with a hammer! No, no, no. It's brilliant, 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 I say. Anybody know what that quote's from? What you, movie? Only if you're a cool kid. Well, enough, yeah? Yeah. It's not that heavy. Shiny side facing in. That's a tight fit. 
Yep. That's all it's gonna get. If it falls out, it's your fault. If you're wondering why this one is flipped over the other way, it's because I messed up. And we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> it's already glued down. Yeah. Got my nail guns. Uh. Will it fret on the first try? Oh man. Like a glove. I kind of got a little overboard with this piece, especially this side. <laughs> it's going to fit right around the framing inside, hopefully. Let's see, I got to get it past this 2 by 4 without breaking. Come on. <laughs> oh, wait. I got the go. I don't know. I think it's going to snap, but the foil should hold. You tried. Hold on. We're, we're doing all right. Are we? Maybe. All right. Get that out. <laughs> so, either I, if I, I do it like this, or I cut them into a bunch of different pieces, right? And so you see all sorts of seams. So you just have this one tear and a little bit here, but that's it. And that I can glue back on. So, so it's not flapping in the wind. Very nice. Thank you. That's the second one. So satisfying that it just goes in there that tight, you know. There are only a couple pieces left to the puzzle before we can turn the solar on. And one of them is these wires right here. These uh got to go up to my charge controllers right here. I've got to put MC4 connectors on them. These are special cables I had to order. They're eight gauge. I gotta put the MC4 connect, the eight gauge MC4 connectors on them. And I gotta crimp on some lugs on the other end, get it hooked up. And then I gotta do some crimping on the battery cables and we're almost there. It's just a few wires left. I got Natalie here. She's finishing up the foam board on the battery box. I gotta route these wires into this mess here. This beautiful mess of wires. Let's see how good you are at your creations here. It is a little 
too tight. Why'd you make it so tight? It's not the bug in the rug. This is... Remember yesterday you thought my boards were too wiggly? So now this is not wiggly. There's no pleasing you. There's nothing you can do right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Follow instructions. <laughs> you big meanie. <laughs> All right. Hey, Eli could sleep in here. Yep. Lay down, Eli. Let's see if this is long enough. Oh, it's perfect. He can even stretch his hands out. You want to sleep in here? <laughs> All right. We'll get your pillow and blanket. Sound good? Okay. I want to sleep on the bottom. Kenzie's going to sleep on the bottom. Thank <laughs> you.